Hey, so here it is, Monday, 2 p.m., Captain Awesome, Cape Cod Learning Tours, and we are at Great Island in Wellfleet. Um, we're not going to walk far because I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I'm a fair weather fisherman, and it is cold and windy, and we're not going to be here for very long, but we're on the marsh. We're going to maybe get to the as far as we can before we freeze our little tuckuses off, but something cool I wanted you to see that we found right away when we got here, some duck bones. Um, we know it's a duck because of those kind of iridescent feathers there, also because I think that's its webbed foot. That is part of what we find at the beach. Oftentimes you find lots of things that have died or perished. And um, that's kind of the, well, I guess the right word. But um, part of what happens when you're now finding things that are alive and or um, have perished and then kind of, you know, deciphering things and using observation to find stuff. Uh, interesting thing here, there's a neat house. I don't know if you can see it over there. It's right on the marsh, right? It's kind of a nice house. It's a modernist house. And um, it's kind of in the wrong place. This is not the place where, this is not the place where people should be uh, building houses right now. I don't think, anyway. So, we're just going to walk along the marsh here for a little bit, talk about whatever we find, see what kind of cool stuff we can find, um, and try not to get too cold, because it is. Uh, tomorrow, as many of you choose, it's kind of a shelter-in-place spot. So, uh, for the rest of the week, I'll be doing some stuff from inside the house, which is almost also my so uh, happy to take any suggestions about interesting animals that you'd like to hear about. Crab. I promised someone we'd talk about the squid, and we will absolutely um, do that. So let's just kind of poke along and see what we find along the top of the marsh here. Um, so sand, lots of people walking their dogs. See some oyster shells here. Lots of oyster shells. Um, Wellfleet is rightfully so famous for oysters and there tend to be um, some grants out here uh, because of the tides and the amount of plankton that's in the water it's pretty amazing we see some good examples of rack line this is the really high tide with the marsh plants that are um, kind of at their end and then we've got this other rack line which is the mean rack line uh, this is where you find stuff like bones and crab shells and things like that that have washed up. We've got a little bit of the tides on its way out. This kind of spot here. I don't know if I'm going to say, oh, lots of little holes. So what do you think might be living down in those holes? Oh, uh, Jamie, this is... Um, Great Island in Wellfleet. Uh, that's the beach out there. I'm going to try to kind of hop over there and come back, but it is very certainly not um, not uh, happy with the wind and the cold, but you know, we do what we have to do. So, uh, again, we'll go back to those holes, most of which are probably going to have fiddler crabs in them but it is chilly enough that the fiddler crabs themselves may not be very active they'll be hunkered down inside okay we see a quahog here when this is a small this is also known as a cherry stone this is pretty interesting one it's got really cool kind of growth rings that are raised on that i don't see that very often usually they look more like this, just kind of a, a smooth shell these ridges. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Um, a couple years ago, I was down in this marsh and I found a um, dolphin that had died. Uh, they tend to be carried up on the currents here into the top of the marsh. 
over that way I have found lots and lots of um, bones as well. Wallfleet, as I was mentioning, was famous for oysters. Um, I've been to a lot of countries and a lot of continents and eaten oysters, and the only oysters I've ever had that even come close to Wellfleet oysters, I ate in Namibia in Africa. And the reason for that is the reason that these oysters are so good. So we have this warm, nutrient-rich water that comes up in the Gulf Stream, and then we have cold, oxygen-rich water that comes down with the Labrador current. And when that cold water mixes with that warm water, you end up with tons and tons of plankton because they're eating the nutrients and liking the oxygen. So plankton are all these invertebrates um, and fully grown animals that are generally microscopic. And lobsters, they start as plankton. Good morning. Uh, crabs, they start as lobsters. Hello, Miss Lindsay. Um, all those things that you like to eat start as plankton. And they're all churning around in the water here. And an oyster is a filter feeder. So it takes water in and it filters out all the plankton and it digests it. So when you are eating an oyster, you're eating all of the partially digested plankton that is in its belly. And all of that stuff tastes wonderful, even when it's plankton. Uh, Lindsay, we are at the marsh at Great Island in Wellfleet, which is part of the National Seashore. Don't think I'm going to be here for a tremendously long period of time because it is really cold and windy today. And so uh, uh, while I like getting out of the house, and I think it's important that we try to do that and still be separate from people, I'm a fair weather fisherman and don't like this kind of weather at all. I really enjoy. Here's the thing. I'm beginning to believe the older I get, that people should only live where bananas grow. I mean, I think that that's... I've been to places where banana grow, bananas grow, and I definitely find them preferable to Cape Cod in the wintertime. That's for sure. We are, uh, we are right at the edge of the marsh. We get into a little kind of uh, beginning scrub forest there. It is cold. <laughs> Thanks, JP. <laughs> yeah. Interesting here, um, this plant growing on the edge. I don't know if you recognize this, but this is cranberry. That's not in a cranberry bog. Um, I don't know if that's wild cranberry or cranberry that escaped from a bog somewhere, but that's uh, pretty interesting to see. And then these little bushes here, I think, are beach plums, which are very um, popular. A couple of folks out walking their dogs today, which is good, I'm trying to stay away from each other. I did want to say also, um, I've mentioned this a couple times before, I'm out, you know, walking, trying to, you know, be informative for folks and kids in general. Um, and this is a time I've uh, tried to kind of practice a uh, kindness mantra to try to be kind to people and be good to people. I think that we're about to have a time where that's going to be more important than ever. I think that uh, we need to really start thinking about being as nice to each other as possible, um, helping each other out, things like that. Um, we're at the beginning stages of a crisis that's going to fundamentally that's going to fundamentally change how we 
look at each other and treat each other. And so um, it's just important, you know, we're all human beings, we're all in this together. Um, oh, now it's starting to rain. This is uh, not how I had hoped that this day would end up. Whew. Miss Lindsay, where do you live that it's snowing? That's horrible. I didn't live where it snows, only visit where it snows. It's starting to rain, so I think I'm probably gonna cut this a little short and walk back up along the path and around through the woods a little bit. Um, it was a little sunny this morning, so I was hopeful. Um, remember, just be kind. I'll tell you what, tomorrow I'll do something from inside the house. Uh, maybe I'll put together a presentation about um, squid, otherwise known as lollygo, which are an amazing animal. Personally, they're my favorite animal um, for a number of reasons, both because they can change color and they can move back and forth on a dime and uh, they're amazing predators. They taste pretty good too. So I'm sorry to really, you know, cut this uh, so short, but my hands are freezing holding the phone. And um, as soon as the weather gets better and a little bit warmer, I'll try to be outside as much as possible. So tomorrow, tune in, same time, two o'clock, and uh, we'll talk about squid, lollygo. All right, you guys have a great, great day, and uh, thanks for joining me. All right, bye-bye.